Okay, today I'm going to show you how I open my urchin. You have to tell which is the top and the bottom, so you have to know your urchin a little bit. This is the bottom of the urchin because you can see the mouth part, which is there. And this is the top of the urchin, and the top has uh, um, thicker spines. So if you have fragile skin, wear gloves. Use the point of the kitchen scissors and run it between the mouth part and the rest of the body like this until it's totally separated from the rest of the body and once you're done you might have to use your pinky to push the mouth part in while you drain the water and do this as gently as you can because the row inside is pretty fragile okay Try and grab hold of the mouth part and pull it straight up. This is the mouth part. Next, take a torch and shine it in there and see whether you can identify where the row runs. I can see row running this way, so I'm going to go to the side of it because I don't want to cut into the row. Try my very best to avoid cutting into the row here. Turn him this way, have another look. Yep, I can see that it's running here, so I'll go along here, hopefully avoiding cutting into any roll. Then open him right up, the urchin right up. And you can see a lot of black organs. This is inedible, so we need to remove this. And I'll show you how to remove it later. Okay, now we're going to harvest the eggs from the sea urchin. So with a teaspoon, just run along the shell and scoop out the egg. Doesn't matter if you catch a lot of the green organs, just lay it on your hand and then tease it away. And then scoop up the eggs and then place it in cold sea water and uh, repeat until you've harvested every one of them there's five segments of egg in each urchin so again place it on your hand just gently separate the green organs from the egg and then scoop it up and then into sea water. So we've collected all our uni from the shell. Now we are washing them in the first bath. I'm using a slotted spoon and I'm transferring it to a second cold salt water bath. And in the process I'm trying to get rid of the green bits. Which actually would be seaweed because that's what they feed on. Sea urchins eat seaweed. So it doesn't really matter if you leave some of the green bits in there. So keep doing that. And it's important to use seawater because if you use fresh water, due to the different osmolality, Fresh water will enter the cells and then the cells will uh, explode and so they start to melt. So using seawater will slow down this process of the uni melting. The final step is to dry the uni. So with your slotted spoon, take them out one by one, get as much water as you can out of them, and lay them on four pieces of, um, four layers of paper towel, like so. So there we have it, the uni is drying on paper towels.